Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 70 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We've just gotten through talking with Mikshu Ana, so let's see the stage where we beat her on. Alright, everybody go with full force from the beginning. All forces. The enemy is a god. And her followers. Even though there are a few, do not let your guard down. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's go. And show our power to Masteria. Uh, she apologizes for getting everybody wrapped up in her problems. But she's really, really happy that you did it for her. So, in order to get some time to find her way to save her, lend your power to Fia, and we'll do this. Alright, this is a interesting battle. I'm gonna start from well, you'll probably see plenty of it. But Fia is immune to attacks. For these guys sitting here with the explicit goal of killing a god, they actually are pretty underprepared. Now see. We have a lot of characters, but a lot of them take extra damage from holy attacks. And pretty much all the attacks are holy. All the enemies put together have one non-holy attack. And it belongs to Mikshuana, the boss. And so... Fia is immune to holy. At least nominally speaking. Because she's still wearing the... This is the armor she had at the beginning of the game and it adds one to her holy defense. Normally she just resists it so much at uh, 75%. But with the plus one, she's considered immune and the AI will never attack her. Now you can attack immune enemies to this or that. Mm, these guys aren't immune to anything. Let's see if Miksha on her. No, Mikshana isn't even immune to the holy. In any case, if I do ever see a, an immune enemy, I can still attack it. And it will do one damage every time. Except under, I believe, extremely r extraordinary circumstances where you can overcome their defenses solely with your activated abilities like Monster Killer or Anti-Air. Not likely, right? In any case, for the time being, I'm deploying these four. Oh no, I do want another couple. Detail is weak against Holy, but I need a second engineer to oh, tackle the right side of the map, since Avaro will be taking the left. As for my other characters, Mikeo is too weak to capture anybody. Eol is weak against Holy. That's a 50% bonus to attack. They get... Against Rosaline they have a 75% bonus. Oh look at my two ghosts. Against my ghosts they get a 100% bonus to attack power. I will be summoning my Yuiki later. But none of them are special in the Holy department. And none of them have particularly good magic defense. Which hurts because these guys have some powerful magic attacks. It'll even mess up Kaurin pretty quickly. So, that's turn one. 
I'll try and keep the action on because this will take a while. Like how it takes a 40 seconds for them to take a turn. Now I keep a move on Fia. Oh yes, I've deployed Kisnir. Mostly because she has a darkness sword now. As you can see, this subtracts from her hit points, spell points, fatigue points, dodge, defense, and speed. But it's darkness, and it hurts. Oh, also, it poisons her. Was there something else? And... No, that's all. Oh. Up above it says it also... Inflicts fear upon the enemy. Whatever that status effect does. But man oh man does it deal damage. 50 damage a shot. Well, let's capture this guy then. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is dust that glitters in a green color. Okay. Let's make sure... Yeah. Risu is using her mithril shields, which are non-elemental. She also has holy, sh holy shields, which obviously won't do damage in this instance. So, the real juggernaut today is Kisnir. However, you don't want to have her go diving into the enemies because she doesn't have a lot of magic resistance like most of my party. And in some cases, if she only takes two magic attacks during her turn, it will kill her all the way from full life. So yeah. Be sure to pace yourself with her. Oh, that's right. I wanted Avaro to go northwest rather than east. Hmm. Well, I need Rishu to take up the center lane. But she may need help killing the enemies once they start getting up there. Oh, there was a deployment flag there. It's good, I took care of that. Mm. All right, capture the angel. Ah, nuts. All right, Avar. Your job's up here. You know what? I'm going to play this for all it's worth and put on the Heaven Necklace, adding six to our magic power. And you know what? Here in her skills, I've had this holy ball on all this time. I'm going to switch it out for anti-air too. So let's see how much damage we do. Again, Fia's immune, so they don't even counterattack when she attacks them. Okay. Perhaps I should go for the flags, but I think Fia can handle those. Rishu's task is to get to that feather. 
Oh yes, there are four mining points in this map. I'm, I don't remember where they were from my trial run, so I'll have to keep my eyes open. And run through the entire place with my engineers. These stupid magic attacks. But this brings us to the point of why Rishu is the one we send up the middle. She can take magic attacks. Well, she can take a lot of attacks. Oh, I guess she'll be getting level ups for it though. This is a bad level up. But she got two hit points. Dust that glitters with a gold color. How nice. I still don't recall any need for it. Right. Rishu, priority, feather. Hmm. Oh. This is one of the Archangels. I suppose I should explain these enemies to you. These hammers are just hammer spirits. And they're the lowest rung around here. Next up are the angels. The ones with the swords are considered angels, anyway. The archangels are the goat guys. And then the principalities, considered to be above archangels, are the ones with the flag spears. And they are really annoying to be fighting from a distance. They have damage reduction on all their magic attacks. No, I never did equip Avaro's weapon. You want to use his earth weapon. Because everything here is a little weak to earth. Not a lot, but a little. Hmm. Capture this enemy, Fia. Good girl. But I gotta tell you, the enemies around here give so much experience. Oh, great. Now, when Kisnir gets up here, she'll have to come in here and kill whatever enemies on the feather because... Rishu, while being a good character for tanking, can't actually kill anybody in one turn. I think in one trial run I got her four level ups and then she could kill the weakest of them in one turn. Oh, she also got a rank up at level 30. That was a big part of it. Stop with the magic attacks. If you come in with physical attacks, the Rishu can hit you back. I get so sick of ranged attacks in this. Because they don't attack Fia with their ranged attacks. She could counter, but they just don't feel like doing it to her. So every ranged attack is either Fia attacking it with no counter or those guys. No. Oh. Risha's actually taking quite a bit of damage so far. All of it one hit damage at a time, but still. No, oh, please get like three criticals. And a counterattack. Yeah, see, she's never going to kill that angel at this rate. Hey, 
Okay, this is a angel's ring or circle. So, that's the Japanese word for a halo. Yes, yes, you're really sure you're hurting. But you can take a lot more hurt before you actually have to be healed. Oh, I hate those goat guys. I tell you. As a rule, I don't think I'll be healing Rishu until she's down to 20 or 25 hit points. Okay. Kill this enemy here. Kiss near. Hmm. Yeah, let's head Rishu over here. Hope there's nobody in here. All right. What got Avaro hurt? Oh, whatever. Let's check. Yeah, let's heal Rishu. Big po healing potion. And Kisnir. Yeah, she's in range of magic attacks. So she may take two of them, actually. Hmm? I was wrong about these guys. It looks like the angels here don't have a ranged attack. The hammers do, the archangels do, the principalities do. But the angels, but the low, these regular angel angels don't. Okay, that's a magic attack that didn't target Kisnir, which is good. Oh, hey. Yeah, oh, well, you want to die. Go ahead and die. Stupid magic attacks. Hey, freebie. It attacks Kisnir. I didn't say that this sword also gave her the absorb ability, did I? Oh, you! I did. That's her. All right. I thought it would be a free space to move Rishio into, but. Something else move. Abunea steal. Since this principality moved in, I'm gonna have to kill it. Principalities also have magic damage reduction. So, ouch, they actually have pretty good defense. But this is it for her. Angel Feather. That was good news. Ah, uh, good job. Now I don't have the silver key for that because I've never been able to find that true pearl stone that required, that is required to make a silver key. So we can't get in there today. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find one in a cart or something. But anyway. Now, Rishu is in place. 
and everything will be fine on this front. No. Finally it's gonna walk in and attack. Hey, counterattack and I win. Stupid goats. Arg. Well, may as well move Avaro and Fia forward. I think that hammer will try to close in on Avaro and we can kill it as it comes. Alright, take a cheap shot. But most of the time, Risha will be just standing on the feather. We don't hurt, want her to attack someone and then end in her turn outside of her square. So I'll only be attacking if she can't actually win. Because her role is to plug up this entire central area. I'll show you all that comes down this pipeline in my next turn. Oh, how nice. More defense. Oh yeah, you see what I mean? But he's in space where... Alvaro can't attack him. Oh yes, I was going to tell you. I believe this one kicks out an angel and these two kick out hammers. But... Still further up, behind the boss, is another flag that will kick out principalities. And they all come straight down here. So, we need somebody who can tank. And tank well. Hey, pace yourself, do you tell me you're gonna run out of fatigue at that rate? my trial run, even the first time I got Rishu here, the place was just swarming with enemies. Oh, this one on the left doesn't p dump out hammers, it dumps out the archangels. Oh, you stupid stinking. Well, if Avaro gets a critical hit, I think it'll kill this. Navarro, you've let me down. Hmm, 15 times 2. She is unlikely to kill this. If she gets a counter or two... Oh no, it gets a counter. So, we're good. Now this must be what did the damage to him before. Those enemies that... Oh great, the goats. I've already took some damage from magic attacks, I think. Because otherwise these enemies aren't too dangerous to him. It's 
So here we see Rishu making a bottleneck of herself. She's actually quite good at it. Alright, capture the hammer. Good. Get experience. Broken wrench. And get that flag. Okay. Two squares. Oh uh, no. Unlikely to win, but she could. I can always rewind. Ha ha ha. I'm going to end up with so many broken wrenches, and there go. So many earth shards for improvements. Oh yes, and of course, so many three-star angels. I think the standard angel is only one or two star. Maybe. Actually, they might all be three stars. But I know the hammers are one star. Oh, you finally got tired of attacking with range, and now you're going to come in and get yourself killed, huh? Good. Okay, let's take a look. Prince Paladies, three stars. Archangels, three stars. Uh, next time I see an angel, they're all dead at the moment. I'll take a look at those. Albania is steel again? That's weird. No. No attacks for Rishu today. No. Now. I picked this point for Kisnir to come to, because these guys have range attacks, and again, she can only take like one before she dies. The second one will kill her, so I don't want her in range of two of them. And they have three range. So this is the only place that's safe to get one, but won't get two. Shut up, Deathelm. Stupid old ass. So. Oh, there we go. It's good that she decided to use her physical attack. That makes things much easier. Although, Kisner doesn't quite do enough damage to kill a principality in one turn. Oh, I've thought of something that needs doing. Take control of this room, Eo. Good girl. Now. We see what detail that the has when he d get gets attacked by these guys. That would be 32 damage, three times, for a total of 96 damage. It always hits. So, unless we're able to kill the enemy, Detail's totally screwed. Maybe it's weak against fire. No, not particularly. But he could do it with that other one. So, hell, why not? Capture this enemy detail. 
Even though they'll be significantly... Oh. I miscalculated. He has the anti-air skill. So he got three bonus damage and did it in one shot. Which means I could have moved Keith near to another spot. Well, we've got plenty of time. Ah, here we go. Regular Angel. Also, three stars. Interesting. Heal. Good job. We're done with you now. Finally, physical text. In case you hadn't noticed, the Archangels actually have four movement points. So they can come in directly from their flag all the way to Rishu in their first turn. The hammers aren't so lucky, so they move three, so they're right next to Rishu. Ah, oh, this is good, this is good. Now, Life Absorb doesn't always activate, so... Kisnir is kinda hurting right now. Now I'd like to take this dispatch point, but I don't think Avaro is good enough to do it by himself. So he's going to come here and provide backup for Fia. As she marches calmly up to these guys and starts destroying them. Uh, this is the worst level up that it is possible to get. But it just means the next one will be a little better. A broken spear. Hey, what's this? None of my characters use spears. What are you giving me this crap for? I could do this. But it doesn't capture enemies, so I won't. Oh, good job, D-Helm. Now, the Archangels in this level are have a different AI than the Hammers, Angels, and Principalities. They don't actually seek out your characters unless they can get to them on the turn in question. So, most of the time they'll just sit there. Like that horde of Archangels in the Northwest that Fia just had to walk up to. Interesting. Without those ability activations and the critical hit, she wouldn't have killed this guy in one turn. Hopefully it won't spawn another next turn. That'd be just so cheap. 
Everybody happy? Well, Reese is happy. Uh, stay right where you are, Deathelm. These girls have been nice enough not to attack Keysnir with their magic. That's really convenient. I mean, their physical attacks also do pretty good damage, but the magic attack is just destroyers. Banshee can't counter. That is so annoying. Plus one magic attack. What she really needs is physical attack. Yeah, what everyone needs is physical attack. Who, what am I saying? Yeah, except for Fia. Fia can take magic attack. I can't wait until I can make that see my shield and try and figure out the link skill that will allow my magic users to capture. That will be so convenient. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stand here. Ah. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to move forward. You see, I was thinking that if I had Fia attack that Archangel next to her, it would be greatly weakened, and then it would charge down to Ovaro, get in a fight, and lose. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. But I want Fia to take this spot, because likely on turn 20 it'll spawn more Archangels. Meaning, one right here where she needs to be standing. Which would slow me down another couple of turns. So, I think we're good. Oh, excellent. Hmm, now that I look at it... I forgot to have Rishu end her turn there, so... She's a little lower on life than she should be. Alright, so here was that Archangel. Avaro should be able to handle one at a time. Probably. They're pretty tough, though. And he's likely to use a magic attack on his next turn. Ah. No, right. I'll put him up to full. And as I speculated, this archangel moved from there to attack Avaro. But there's now an archangel here again, meaning it did spawn on that turn. Alright, let's start messing this guy up so we can capture the flags. And move on. So now it's time to move into that dispatch point. Kisnir can really mess these angels up. As long as there aren't too many throwing magic attacks at her. I hate those goats so much. Oh, interesting. The hammer was able to get to Rishu. This is because there's a principality parked on the angel flag, so the angel spark spawned on the on the hammer's flag. I knew it! 
I knew it was going to do this. Magic attack. Stupid ugly bastards. Alright, so the hammer... Angel spawns here, so the hammer spawned there, and the hammer was able to get to Urisha. Hmm? Uh-oh. They've noticed Kisnir. Uh, that's partly good and partly bad. Oh, man. Varro is going to have a tough time tackling three horns. A really tough time. Fiat, a little back up here. And do really well, please, because... Perfect. And more magic attack. I appreciate that. Okay. So if I take Tuckle this angel, the Archangel, and this Principality... Well, the Archangel will attack her. The Principality might attack her. Either of them have magic attacks. I hate that so much. You know what I'm reconsidering? I would rather not tackle them in that fashion. From here, the Archangel will move his four squares, but he can't use his range attack from this far away. And the Angel doesn't have a range attack, so she'll just walk up and get killed anyway. Everybody happy? Well, I'm happy, and that's good enough for me. Cheap shot. It's not much damage, but Deedhelm needs something to do. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, 19 damage. Perfect. Stupid ugly bastards. <laughs> okay. Now... This one will attack him, and this one will attack him. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. But in order to get out of their range, he'd need to retreat his full three squares. Well, risk not one not, right? No, that's a different saying. It's waste and not one not. I'm thinking of no risk, no reward. Ha! Uh, suck it. I would rather that Archangel had come up north rather than going through the Angel Square. This means when I head over and kill him with Kisnir, she's going to be in range of this Principality here. That's so troublesome. Ouch. Oh. It's a good thing I had Detail attack that angel because otherwise it would have had enough life to get a second attack in and defeat Kisnir. Oh man, that would have been so bad. Yes! Do your physical attack. We like your physical attack. Okay. Take a little break, Avaro. Fia needs some free turns. Hmm. Oh yes, you are badly wounded. great. And this Principality was homing in on Kisnir, obviously. If it had been targeting Rishu, she would be on this square instead. 
So next turn she'll come to here. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Well, we'll deal with it when the time comes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sucker. Now I've got you right where I want you. Other than the magic attacks thing. You better not use it. Alright. No more archangels. At least, not from this direction. Alright, detail Sam, good job. Now get out of here before you get killed. Kiesner gets to stand on there. Because she gets a modest bonus to her magic defense when she's standing on it. Oh, and she gets a... where is it? She gets 2 HP re re guess, restored per turn as well. Hmm. As soon as it's safe, I'd like to get these flags down, too. But again, one thing at a time. Magic attacks. Ouch. Now once the flags are down, Rishu will be safe to head up to that next point. And we definitely need her up there. Ha! Physical deck. Perfect. Pretty sucky. But I've been complaining about his magic defense, so it's good he got another one. Hmm. Oops. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to soften these up for Avaro. For the most part, Fia won't be able to kill them in one turn, but if you damage them, they'll activate in a different way and they'll start finding the nearest enemy they can attack. Again, Avaro. Hmm. Well. This is... This is risky. I'm almost certain that Principality will attack Kisnir again. But if I get any closer... to this guy... Well, hell, if I don't get a hell away from him... Mm. Well... I know. I'll end Rishu's turn. And then come here and do this attack. This way if the enemy's turn goes badly I can still rewind time. As expected. Hey, that was nice. One miss and one activation of the shield. Okay, that principality decided to elect to attack Rudishu instead of Kisnir, which is good. But that angel and the archangel will almost certainly take Kisnir. 
Exactly so. 42 damage twice isn't quite enough. But it's a good thing it wasn't using its... Oh. Kisnir's hit got her absorption ability activated, so she gained a bunch of life back. When she does this much damage, it matters. That went well. I must say, that went well. And this jerk standing on a trap. And now Avara takes trap damage. <laughs> That's what hurt Fia earlier. But again, Fia is practically invulnerable in this map. Alright, heal up and keep moving Sexta. forward. Oh, isn't that cute? She saw, went and captured it back. Well, in my book, that's a waste of her turn. Although, according to her AI, she couldn't really do anything else. Maybe I should have kept detail around somewhere. Hey, Archangel. You know Rishu doesn't have to stay on this feather anymore? Your days are numbered. I'll tell you the number. It's one. I hate those guys so much. Okay, so hopefully Kishner won't die this time. Because that is so inconvenient. I hate those Archangels so much. Well, from a wider perspective, I hate magic attacks so much. And we are just inundated with them here. That was... Okay, I can live with that. I'm not pleased with it, but I can live with that. Hmm, okay. Kisner will need healing just to take this guy on. And then I'll probably need to heal her afterwards. Now ah, see, without healing, her life would be negative two right now. Die, you ugly son of a bitch. <sighs> yep. Now that principality might come over here and physically attack, which would be good. But probably it won't. See? I know what I'm talking about. The other principality will just come walk right in range, though. You were lucky, Archangel. But the number of your days has only been increased by one. Oh, and you lost a day there. So, it's still one. Huh. <sighs> Okay, Fia's job in here is to get to that flag again. Then we can start thinking about the boss. But of course, recall that the boss has the one attack on the map that can hurt Fia. So she'll be hounding Fia until she gets there. Ouch. Large healing potion. Okay. Ha! Suck it. Now, getting Rishu up there. 
I think I'll have a retreat to here, and then by that time I'll have captured this again. Man, Kisner doing it this by herself makes me a little nervous. Anyway. Stop with the magic attacks. Okay, that means relative safety. Oh. <laughs> Ahem. Justice is on our side. We shall conquer Gualakuna Castle and silence these people who follow the taboos. Break the taboos. Ouch. Normally before in my... No, 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 this isn't good. Well, she'll probably survive. Anyway, she can't take more than two principalities at a time. Wait, I praised her for getting a magic defense in one of these low lips, didn't I? No, that was Avaro. So, yeah. She can take two attacks from these principalities and not die as long as one of them misses one of the times they attack. Shonk. Oh, jeez. Honestly, I made a mistake in my calculations here. Well, well, in addition, I wanted to switch out her equipment. Instead of the heavenly necklace that adds to her magic deck, the fire spirit necklace, which adds to her fire defense. And heal up. You see, her regular attack is holy, but her special attack is fire. So fire defense is good for everyone. Oh jeez, not another principality. Oh, physical attacks. I can so deal with physical attacks. So yeah, deal with the pronouncia. Yeah. Have I got all the mining points? No, I haven't. There may be one in this area. All I've had in there is Rishu and Kisnir. And it may be somewhere through here. Probably one of these nine squ one of these eight squares, excepting the dispatch point. Well, just to be safe, I'm going to run detail over there. Actually, I probably ought to dispatch you for this. He's faster. Come on. You! Come on! Oh, plus he can fly across this gap to get to there. Although, of course, leaving him in range of angels is asking for him to get killed. Alright, deal with this principality. Uh, physical defense. Luck. Speed. Um, better than nothing. Yeah, this hurts. Uh, okay. Does the same thing, 
with the same basic effect, but since she's healed, she'll survive with 6 life. OP. Nerf Prince Wells. Jeez, again! I'm getting sick of those. Now, I could move Avaro in range of these guys, but again, he doesn't have all that great physical magical defense either. Wait, look at him, all of his stats are maxed. No wonder he didn't get a stat up at the last level up. I hate those stat ups, stat caps so much. So much. No. Oh. The feather. That'll be important a little later. But for now, just stand here looking pretty, Avaro. Ah, uh, nuts! This is bad timing. So, that Prince Valid is throwing a gear in my plans. Oh yes, healing because the boss keeps hitting you. If I counted on my luck, we could assume that Kisner would get a hit to start with and absorb life, but that is unreasonably optimistic. I hate this game sometimes. Well, she still would have need would have needed this healing afterward. And I'm right about to retake Hey, here it is. Good job, you. Hey, physical attacks. This is great. That means next turn we take the dispatch point. And once we have that, we put Rishu on it. That should solve all of our problems. Huh? Oh, crap. It detected another enemy that it would like to attack. So, this place is safe now. For the moment. Actually, retreat. We may as well have you heal up. Now, Avaro trying to take on a principality by himself. How well is this gonna go? Well, he could take on those archangels. Oh, Jesus. This is... Well, he won't do it in one turn. But he'll need healing if it. in case of magic attacks. Uh, decent damage. Clearly they have more defense than those Archangels. Uh. Mikshana. You needed to move. Uh, this is... Well, may as well start cheaping. Apparently Mikshana won't even move to... attack Fia if she isn't in range on that given turn. So, cheap shot. And that demonstrated their, whoops, their damage reduction of magic. It should have done more, but again, damage reduction. Now, just wait for now. Oh good, attacking physically. I like that, relatively speaking. Okay, this is bad news all around. 
Okay, heal up, get the fire spirit necklace back on. Now make sure I will move here. The principality will head towards Avaro again. But I need Mikshana out of the way. Sophia can take next turn to move here and the turn after that to take the flag. And then I can start hurting her. Eh, uh, well, it still won't quite be time to hurt her. But it'll be close. Ah, cheap. These principalities have been surprisingly nice. With Avaro, anyway. Okay. Okay, that will be important later. Of course, right after I say how nice they've been. Can't give anybody a compliment. Yeah, you're not going to capture her this turn, so you may as well use her faster attack. Oh, healing would be good. Alright, so we took care of that flag. I needed to heal her. Okay. I healed Avaro and I forgot her. Oh, how nice. So here we go with Mikshana again. Still at the stat, stat caps. He probably gets a rank up at level 30 and that will increase his stat caps. Or maybe it did that thing like in Kamidori where his stat caps are connected to his progress in the story. But the, it's always been connected to the rank ups. In Kamidori, even the story progression had those rank ups attached to it, and that's why he got it then. Anyway, I'm overthinking this. Now it's time to start hurting Mikshuana. Taking the flag was an obvious choice, but taking the feather was also important. Because once Mikshuana gets low on life. I think about 50 per... Crap, I got too close. Once Mikshuan is down to about half of her life, she'll seek out the closest feather and make a beeline towards it in order to recover her life. And that would be a big problem, for obvious reasons. We'll start with the cheap shot. Her AI should subtly change as soon as she's been injured. So she will seek out the closest enemy. Or I could be wrong. Fine then. Alright, so we move Fia here in order to entice her one step closer and then we can cheese her with our ranged attack. Thank you for being so accommodating, Mikshana.
Now, feel the hurt. Actually, let's buff up her damage. And speaking of buffs, I keep forgetting Avaro has a really nice buff spell. I haven't had to use it in so long. Okay, now she's going to make her way for the closest feather. You little prick. And now she's out of range of feels good attack. Now the closest feather is obviously down here. So she's going to start headed that way. While Fia gets to take care of that last principality and Otherwise, I think Mixuan is going to ignore us. Yeah, see? Mixuana's AI is not the strongest in this level. Now I'm not quite done. In fact, let's cheese this a little bit. Hi you. I have just one more thing to do before finishing up Mikshoana. No, I guess I'll grab that card as well. Darkness Beasts. Fossil. Okay, whatever. Don't you hate it when they put a secret room inside the boss's room? Alright, you... Very good. Now if you're at this point, you can pull out all your ranged characters and attack Mikshuana with impunity. Because all she's going to do is hit onto Rishu. And do almost no damage. So if you're weaker... So if your weak ass ranged characters need some H experience points, now would be a good time to get it. However, I just want to get this over with. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to give the kill to somebody who really deserves it. May as well. Yeah, I'll start with detail. Cheap shot. Oh, you got a second move? That's too damn bad. Here we go, Mikayu. I think she'll get like a hundred. XP from this. No, it was only 80. Alright, a flight armband. This is an excellent weapon. And accessory. Ah, oh, to think that Maz Terry would be forced to take a knee. Yeah, whatever, I want to look at this accessory. It should be around in here. There it is. Nah, it it's not how I remember it. So the flight armband gives us flight. In at least one previous game it also gave you an extra movement point. But we don't get to live with that here. We're strong. This is the present god Sphia's military power, is it? We're not exactly a military force, though. 
More than that, anyway. Are you going to give up on the castle? So... To put it short, no. But to put it long, kill her. As long as she lives, she will continue to keep trying to enforce the taboo. So she took her action in today, trying to take our lives, and she isn't going to bow and scrape attempting to avoid the fate herself. She does betray a bit of nervousness in her voice, does she not? Heh, <laughs> anyway. We aren't going to kill you. That's not what we do. But we do recognize it's a bit excessive to, for to ask for you to just give up like that. In any case, the reason we fought you was in order to get through this place. And kind of to show you what we're capable of. But we still want to talk. There must be some way out of this. Monsterio wants to destroy the castle, but if we can get a postponement, we can work something out. In order to do that, let's talk it out. So, what do you mean by this? Which is a good question, but that's our last line inside of this map, so I'm going to quit out here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.